sup youtube is sigma here and today i'm gonna be walking you through a comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial on how to bypass or remove passcode lock with same working and all apple services now if you have an iphone or an ipad that is running on check image chipset and it's stuck on passcode and you you do not know neither the passcode nor the pa apple id password uh in this video i'll be walking you through how to mitigate both the apple id and the passcode and have your device fully functioning with sim working and all apple services now the software i'm going to be using is unlock 2 which is a, a multifunctioning software or a program that it's compatible with both android uh, smartphones and iphones and this software is compatible with most of the android uh, flagship devices uh it supports almost all the chipsets such as uh, mediatek uh, qualcomm spectrum unisoc and the rest you, you you gotta check it out yourself so what i have here is an iphone 7 7 plus that is currently uh, stuck on passcode we have an i we have icloud on as well and we are going to remove the passcode with this um software now the first thing we need to do is to put the device in recovery mode as you can see the device is in um uh, how do you call it it's in uh normal mode or is in the passcode mode all right so let's put it into recovery you do that by you can turn off the device and hold the volume down and then you connect the device you keep holding the volume down so the device boot up into recovery that is for iphone 7 series all right all right now we have uh, our iphone in recovery mode and as you can see in the video the iphone 7 is currently in recovery mode now let's head over to our device manager to check if the driver uh is showing correctly if it doesn't show correctly here we need to fix the driver all right i'm currently showing you guys this step by step process because you might encounter an error if the driver is not fixed all right so let's go ahead and open 3u tools which is another uh, multifunctioning software for iphones and from 3u tools you can see the device is connected in recovery mode all right now from the device manager you scroll all the way down to you see uh, the device showing if you see if, you, if the device showing this way then it means uh there's a problem with our driver so you just head over to this option repair driver and then you need to uninstall the bad driver all right all right so now our driver is fixed so the issue with our driver is resolved all right so if it shows that this way you click on it and if, if the driver version shows this way then the driver is okay all right then we can head over to the software to proceed with the unlocking process all right once again i said this software is only compatible with check ma devices don't come message me on telegram telling me bullshit. all right so back to the software uh the first thing you want to do is to put the device into dfu mode after the recovery mode now you need to put the device into recovery before dfu all right i'm an expert and i'm i know why i'm telling you that all right you can choose to put the device into dfu mode manually yourself directly without putting the device into recovery first but to prevent the device booting up during the ram disk, you need to put the device into recovery before dfu all right it's a step-by-step -step procedure it's a sequence and if you fail to do so you might encounter an error so now once the device is in dfu mode let's check from three tools here we are you can see the device is in dfu all right now let's check one more time from the device manager it shows here now we are checking this thing we are, we are currently checking the driver because we don't want to see an error during the booting process all right so once everything is okay just click on this option here pon dfu and this this will pop up choose the first one that shows uh says gasta and then allow the device to boot into pawn mode now if by any chance this fails it might be your driver all right and if you fix the driver and it's, it, it, it keeps failing then you should change the pawn option all right so as it shows gasta you can choose the other way around can choose a uh, different pawn method all right so the pawn is successful you can see from here 
all right the next thing we are going to do is to boot ramdex which for that one you need to download the ramdex file for device and then choose the version as you can see mine is iphone 7 plus so i'll go with is 15 so you choose that version and then click on boot ramdex so you have to download the ramdex file for a device and then put it into the three u tools i uh, said sorry into the unlock two folder uh data folder apple data folder so once you click on the boot ramdex the device is going to boot into ramdex mode for us to back up the activation files All right, the ramdex booting is completed if for some reasons the device keep rebooting here it is it, they have a message showing on the screen asking you to um, fix mount in case the device keeps rebooting so for some reasons uh, for some devices whatever permission or whatever handshake can get an error or whatsoever there will be a problem when you are trying to boot that is what the software is trying to tell you so for, that, for whatever reason you might encounter an error just click on the fix mount just as you can see here just click on that and then the problem is going to be resolved all right so once the mounting is successful just click on backup passcode backup passcode this is going to back up all the uh, activation files on this device all right so the backup is completed as you can see from the log to it says um the backup is saved and it is saved by the uh, the ecid number of our iphone all right you can locate it from the backup folder of this software all right sure so once you're done you, just, you can just click on factory reset that is after you've checked the backup from the directory where it is supposed to be saved so once you locate the, the backup you need to ensure that all the activation records are available or presented in the uh, 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 activation files you understand like you have to check all the activation files if they are available before you factory set the device otherwise you might end up um, having no signal bypass all right so once the erasing process is completed just like usual you need to set up the device wait for the device to boot up which for sure i'm not going to go through this process here because i would love to make the video very short so basically once the device boots up you are going to connect to the wi-fi network and come to the activation launch screen for sure you cannot um bypass the activation lock screen without the um uh, the owner's credential so we are going to redo the whole process one one more time but before then let me connect to wi-fi and ensure that uh, the device is on activation lock screen for you guys to see all right here we go you can see the device is locked to owner now let's go back to proceed with the backup restore so from the unlock to click on enter recovery you can see the recovery option here click enter recovery here all right and then the device is going to be booted into recovery mode once the device is in recovery i'm going to repeat the same process one more time let's put the device into dfe mode you hold the volume up and the volume down and the power key once the device goes blank you hold you keep holding the the two buttons for like three seconds and you release the power while you keep holding the volume down till the device is detected detected in dfu so you just open three tools and then from here you can see the device is in dfu now one more time let's go ahead and check if the driver is okay for some reasons the two need to auto switch between lib usb driver and then apple dfu driver and so for some reasons some tools 
will fail to switch the, uh, the driver back to Apple Mobile Driver. Now, once again, click on this Pawn DFU mode after the device in DFU and click Gaxter for the device to pawn one more time. Alright, so once the pawn process is completed, choose your iOS version one more time and click on boot RAM decks. So we are just re basically repeating the same step that uh, we did earlier. All right, the RAM disk booting is completed. Now we are going to go ahead and click on restore passcode. That is all. So once the passcode restore is completed, that is all for this whole process. So you can see very well that this whole um, passcode bypass is pretty straightforward no technical skill is, uh, technical skill is required and it's very simple all right sure so that is all all is completed you can see from the software uh, download to it says completed the lapse time so now we wait for the device to boot up and you can see uh, for some reason the device switch back to recovery just click on exit recovery mode from the unlock to and then the device is going to boot up and then we are going to go ahead and set it up as a fresh device with sim working and all output services once again this is a license software so in case you need the license or you need your account activated kindly go ahead and send me a dm on telegram at gsm promit beware of impersonators on telegram so kindly make sure you click on the link or my telegram link right from youtube all right i don't i don't uh, advise you guys to um, search the username manually from um, telegram just go ahead and then click the link directly from um, youtube Here we go. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Till then, peace out.